Right, hello Mike. So, um, a few of the trains you wanted to see. The uh, first one's a Bayer Garrett. Uh, this is one of the biggest um, British locomotives designed to haul long coal trains up the hills up north of the country. These uh, were about built in about 1927. Only 33 built. There we go. As you can see his uh, water tank at the front and the coal tender at the rear of the train. And these took the place of uh, trains where they were double and triple heading. So building one train does the work of three. Uh, we'll turn that on. Passing shot there. Branch line train just going again under the back, pulling into the station. And there we go. Right, next train. One you want to see, Flying Scotsman. Classic teak carriages behind it. Brian Scotts was built in 1923. So I hold uh, two world records. First steam locomotive for all passengers at uh, 100 miles an hour, confirmed, and the longest non-stop non -stop run by a steam logo is 422 miles between King's Cross and Edinburgh. And a double tender for that I believe, coal, water. Oh, it was in Australia actually. Oh, 
I got that wrong, I'm reading this. That's no, nothing to do with that. Well, the longest non stop run was in Australia, it was on tour, 422 miles. Yeah. So that's that. Now the third train is the City of Truro. Here it comes. Now this train, some say was the first train to do a hundred miles an hour. But uh, that was not corroborated and it wasn't officially timed. Great Western train. I'm down in Devon, Cornwall. This train was actually, well not this actual train, but the real one was built in 1903. So it's quite an achievement to be doing 100 miles an hour in them days. Right, the last pass of this one. And that's it Mike for that, I'm just going to set up some more and I'll do it on a separate video.